Hey there, Cupcakes. As promised, I'm back with the letter L. We're talking about ladybugs today and the letter L, the sound that letter L makes. Ol, ol. When we say ladybug, we hear the ol sound at the beginning. L is for ladybug. That's my sentence. L is for ladybug. You can see on the book behind me, the grouchy ladybug, an illustration of a ladybug. That's kind of like a cartoon ladybug. This morning, we looked at a photograph of a real ladybug. Some ladybugs are red, in black, some ladybugs are orange and black. This one is orange and black. A ladybug is a beetle. A beetle is an insect, and insects have six legs. And this morning, we counted the legs on the ladybug. On this picture, they're somewhat difficult to see, but we'll try it again. There's one, two, three legs on this side, four, five, six, a total of six legs. L is for ladybug. Did you know that ladybug is a compound words? A compound word? What do you remember about compound words? A compound word is a longer word made of two shorter words. Lady, Bug. Let's take a look at this compound word card. You see a picture of a lady and a picture of a bug. Lady plus bug equals ladybug. That's a compound word. Lady, bug, ladybug. Let's do it without the picture. Let's put lady in this hand and bug in this hand, and we'll put them together. All right, you ready? Lady, bug, ladybug. Lady, bug, ladybug. What happens when we take bug away from lady. What do we have left? I'm going to do some parts of this word and I'm going to say, do it without, without saying. Without means it's not there anymore. All right, so remember we're holding ladybug in our hand. Can you say ladybug without saying bug? Lady, that's right. Ladybug without saying bug is lady. Say ladybug. All right. Now say ladybug without saying lady. Bug, that's right. Ladybug without lady is bug. Let's look at our visual again. Lady, bug, ladybug. If you say ladybug without saying lady, you have bug. If you say ladybug without saying bug, you have Lady, lady bug. So we learned that ladybug begins with the sound that L makes. L. Let's take a look at something else that begins with the L sound. Here is our poem for today. Letter L. L, L, L. 
when you make the o sound, you can feel your tongue at the top of your mouth. That's how you know you're pronouncing it correctly. Leo Lion. This is Leo Lion. Look at what he's holding in his hand. He's holding a lollipop. Leo Lion likes to lick a lemon lollipop. Oh, oh, oh. Leo licks all day long. Did you hear all the words that begin with the O sound? Let's take a look at them. Leo, lion, likes, lick, lollipop, Leo, licks, long. That was a lot of O words, right? L is for ladybug. And L is also for lion and lollipop. And can you see what the lion is sitting on? A log, log. Those are some words that begin with the O sound. Let's take a look at our alphabet soup for the letter L. You know, in our alphabet soup, we always find an uppercase and a lowercase letter for that letter that we're talking about. And then we also find some objects for the letter. So read this poem with me. L is for leaf that falls from a tree. L is for the lamp that shines light on me. Let's read it one more time. L is for leaf that falls from a tree. L is for lamp that shines light on me. So I've taken my, my things out of my can of alphabet soup for letter L. And I noticed that I'm only seeing three objects that was in my can. This tells me that when I was at school and we were learning about our letter L, somehow the rest of the objects must have gotten misplaced. So I'm only holding three and my uppercase and my lowercase L is not even in my soup, but we can remedy that by looking at our alphabet card. So this is uppercase L and this is lowercase L. Uppercase L, is made of two lines, a long line and a short line. Lowercase l is one line. Get ready to put your finger up in the air before we look at our three things that I found in my uh, soup for letter L. All right, finger goes up in the air for the uppercase L and we're gonna go down. Across, that's uppercase L. Let's do it again. Uppercase L, good job. All right, let's do lowercase L. Let's get ready to air write it. Finger in the air, let's go down. Lowercase L, one more time. Lowercase L. L, we learned, is for ladybug. <laughs> and L, we learned, is for lion and lollipop and log l is also for lamp this is one of the objects that i found in my alphabet soup here is the word lamp there was a lion in my alphabet soup Lion. Here is the word lion. And log. Log. Here is the word log. You remember what a log is, right? 
The log is a part of a tree trunk that is cut down. I've sat on a log before. Mm -hmm. All right, so as I've said, I only have three objects in my alphabet soup can. So we're going to sing about three objects, these three objects. We're going to also sing for ladybug. And then I want you to think of some other words that begin with the O sound. Oh, I forgot about lollipop. Leo Lion was holding a lollipop. So are you ready to sing? All right, here we go. L is for lion. O, O, lion. L is for log. O, O, log. L is for lamp. O, O, lamp. L is for ladybug. O, O, ladybug. L is for lollipop. O, O, lollipop. Now you know what L sounds like. Now you know what L sounds like. All right, remember to think of all the words that you can that begins with the sound that L makes. Until next time, I'll see you later.